Atlas is a huge world where I've got 40,000 players on the high seas of adventure at once. Waveworks was an answer to our biggest problem. How do we get really great water in this game? Waveworks 2.0 is a um, dynamic, real-time water simulation engine that allows us to create water that works at any time of day, any wind setting, and allows us to build on top of it so we can do a lot of custom things that we need for our game. We can add custom hooks in to allow our foam particles and our water interaction particles to stay on the surface of the water in a really nice, believable way, uh, and also handle speed changes uh, and really nice lighting. It literally follows pretty simple physics rules. But simulating those rules correctly and rendering those rules correctly is a pretty challenging task. And it's pretty rewarding. If you get this done right, you get awesome pictures and awesome animation. One of the nice things about Waveworks is it holds up close. When your camera is really tight on the water, you really want the water to look great. And this water looks great, the foam looks great. Even going underwater, we have a nice underwater shader going on with underwater post-process. Uh, that looks great. So everything is tunable and flexible and powerful. In Atlas, there's a lot of interactions that can happen with the waves, whether it's from ships uh, going on the water to things falling in the water to players falling in the water. Waveworks has given us the ability to have interactions with the water that we wouldn't otherwise have. Wherever the boat is close to the water, we'll get this nice foam, which helps show that interaction with the, uh, with the boat. But as we start moving, we also get an additional foam that we create through particles in Unreal. Wayworks 2.0 supports GX12 and Vulcan. 2.0 is faster. 2.0 allows you to use physically based rendering for ocean surfaces. We've spent a lot of time and resources on getting this stuff performant on any platform. Water is one of the hardest things you can do in a real-time game. A lot of the heavy lifting has been done for the developer. It solves so many really difficult problems, and it allows you to get to creating your game as opposed to spending a lot of time trying to create a realistic water simulation. We just were able to get right in there and get going on that stuff from the start. NVIDIA's engineers and our engineers really came together to, to create something that I think is really special.